Hello and welcome to this learning video. Till now we have seen what is rank of a matrix and how to find out the rank of a square matrix. Here in this learning dialogue, we are going to find out the rank of a rectangular matrices. So to find out the rank, the matrix need not be square matrix or the assumptions like only square matrices have rank is a false assumption. Whether the matrix is square or a matrix is rectangular, you can easily find out the rank of each and every matrix. Okay, so let us see the problem on rank of a matrix, but the only change is rectangular matrix we have here. Okay, and what is rectangular matrix? Where the number of rows, rectangular matrix are those matrix where the number of rows are not same as the number of columns. Okay, so let us see this problem. This problem says determine the rank of a matrix this. Okay, so given matrix is this. Uh, one remark I would like to make whenever you have a matrix like this and you have to find out the rank of a matrix, make the first element of the matrix to be 1 so that the calculations becomes very easy. Okay, so it can be done by uh, R1 changes to R1 minus R2. Okay, so R1 changes to R1 minus R2. So matrix A is equivalent to so what is matrix A? We have a change in R1 so R2, R3 remain as it is. So what is 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 2 is also 1, then 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 minus 1 is 1. There is no change in R2 and R3, so write it as it is 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 0. Okay, now whenever you have a matrix like this, your first objective is to see the first element it is 1 okay and for the sake of uh, convenience or for the sake of simple calculations I am making it 1 if you don't want to make it 1 then also you can do the calculation okay now left this element and just next to this element or below these elements you have to make 0 whether you have 3 rows or 4 rows then how many uh, numbers are there lifting left this first position and next to this there are two numbers so make it this two number zero and if you have more then suppose you have one more row here so you have to make this one also zero but that is not the case here okay <clears throat> so follow this uh, rule make this element 0 first then this element 0 first once you are done with this both the element then you can go with this so how many elements you have made 0 2 then next one element okay and likewise so here we have to make these three position to be 0 okay so to make this position 0 what I need to do I need to change in R2 so R2 changes to R2 minus okay 2r2 minus 3r3 simple 2r2 minus 3r3 no not like this just a minute just uh, make this r2 these element 0 <laughs> sorry so you have to make this element 0 so just change it to r2 minus 3r1 that's very easy okay and then okay first you do the change a is equivalent to so what is it this no change in r1 so 1 1 2 1 as it is now r3 sorry r2 minus 3 r1 so 3 minus 3 0 2 minus 3 minus 1 3 minus 6 is minus 3 1 minus 3 minus 2 so you have this 0 minus 1 minus 3 2 minus 2 now after making this element 0 you have to make this element 0 keeping this 0 as it is okay so r3 
changes to R3 minus 2R1. Okay. So 2 minus 2, 0. 1 minus 2, minus 1. Then 1 minus 4, minus 3. And 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Okay. Now after getting these two elements 0, what is the targeted position? The targeted position that we have to make it 0 is this. And to make this element 0, what I need to do? I just need to change in R3. So R3 changes to R3 minus R2. Why? Why I am using R2? Because if I am using R2, because if I make use of R1, this 0 will get some value. Okay? So keeping this 0 as it is, to, you have to make this element 0. So I am making use of R2. Okay? So A is equivalent to So, no change in R1 and R2. So, write it as it is 1, 1, 2, 1. And then 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. Okay? Now, 0, minus 0 is 0. Minus 1, minus, minus, plus 1, 0. Minus 3, plus 3, 0. Minus 2, plus 2, 0. I just wanted to make these three positions zero. These are bonus. Okay. Now see the number of non-zero rows. So here you can write. Therefore, rank of A which we denoted by R of A is equal to number of rows minus number of rows minus number of zero rows. So, how many number of rows are there? 3. 3 number of rows and how many 0 rows? 1. So, what is the rank of the given matrix? Rank of A is 2. Simple. So, I am getting the rank of A to be 2. Okay. Now, let us take one more problem. <coughs> I hope this is clear to you. Now, let us take one more problem. So the next problem is determine the rank of the matrix 332. Okay, so I think I have to rub this. So this is 332. Then we have 1 to 0. Then the next one is 0, 10, 3. And one more we have 2 minus 3 minus 1. Okay, so this is the matrix we have and we have to find out the rank of this matrix. So as you know that just I have told you that uh, if this position, the very first position, first element, first position, if it is 1, then the calculation becomes very easy. So I am going to apply the transformation which is R1 interchange to R2. So my matrix A becomes... What is it? 1, 2, 0. 3, 3, 2. Then we have 0, 10, 3, 2, minus 3, minus 1. Okay. Now this is 1. So just next to this element, how many elements are below this first element? 3. So I have to make this element 0. This is already 0. And then this 0. After these three elements, how many zeros I have to make? Two. So these are one, two. And then two minus one is one. So this. These positions I have to make it zero. Okay. So to make this element zero, I can easily do one transformation, which is R2. R2 changes to R2 minus three times R1. Okay. So... <clears throat> There is a change in R2, so I will keep R1 as it is, 1 to 0, okay? Now, 
this is there is a change in this so r3 three, 3 minus 3 is 0 3 minus 6 is minus 3 and 2 as it is okay 0 minus 3 2 right now you have to make uh, this this already 0 is there so i just keep it as it is 0 10 3 now i have to make this element 0 so r4 changes to r4 minus 2 r1 so what is it so this is 0 minus 3 minus 4 so this is minus 7 minus 1 so i am getting this okay now after getting this t0 what are my targeted positions my targeted positions are this and this and as I told you earlier also, to make these positions 0, no need to uh, disturb these three zeros. Okay. So, let us make this 0. So, can you tell me what would be the transformation it should be? So, just pause the video for a few seconds and try to tell me what should be the uh, transformation that we are going to apply to make these two positions 0. So think over it and then resume the video. So I hope you might have come up uh, with your uh, transformations. So what are the elementary transformation? To make this position 0, we are changing in R3. So what it should be? R3 changes to. So to make this position 0, what I can do is, I can just uh, multiply it by 3 and multiply it by 10. So this should be 3 R3 plus 10 R2. Is that 3 R3 plus 10 R2? So let us see what this uh, gives us. So we are changing in R3. So first two rows uh, as it is 1 to 0 then 0 minus 3 2 okay now to make this position 0 what is it 3 r 3 so 3 times 0 plus 10 times 0 0 3 r 3 so 30 minus 30 is 0 then 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 20 29 okay this is 3 3 is a 9 plus 10 2 is a 20 so it's 29 now to make this position 0, I have to make change in R4. So what I can do is, yes, you can make use of R2. So you can write minus, minus or plus, what is it? Plus you can take 3 R, multiply this by 3 and this by 7, 3 R4 minus 7R2 so 3R4 minus 7R2 so what is it 0 times 0 so this is 0 then 3R4 so 7 3 is a 21 and this is minus minus plus minus 21 plus 21 then this minus 1 into 3 so minus 3 minus 7 into 2 so this is minus 3 minus 14 so this is minus 17 is it yeah so i am getting minus 17 so after getting these three zeros this two position zero what is my objective my objective is to make this position zero now okay so to make this position zero what i need to do yes I have to change in R4. So here I am doing the calculations now. I am doing the calculations here. So I can write R4 changes to what I can write 29 R4 plus 17 R3. 29 R4 plus 17 R3. So, this A will change to, we are changing in the term, fourth row. 
So first three rows as it is one two zero zero minus three two then zero zero twenty nine and here it is zero zero zero. Okay. So what you can say about the rank of this matrix? Anyone can easily see how many number of non zeros three. So what is the rank? Rank of this matrix is three. So you can write. Rank of A is equal to number of rows minus number of zero rows. So how many number of rows? Four. How many number of zero rows? One. So rank of A is equal to three. Very simple. So I hope you have uh, understood. whatever i have taught or here and if you have any doubt you can contact me so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics thank you